culture is weaponized to destroy children. Making the rounds in school libraries. If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? Hey guys, welcome to Bury on Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. J Mac <laughs> versus Jury Royce. Yes, Jury Royce has strike again. I, we already know the deal with Jury Royce, okay? So for those whom I don't know, Jury Royce, she's a reporter, an investigative reporter who has written, I'm sure it must be 60 by now, written articles about John MacArthur. Articles have got zero basis or nothing, but hey, you know, it keeps the check coming, right? If she keeps writing um, on John MacArthur. So what has transpired this time around? Jury Royce put out an article claiming that uh, a Christian publisher has refused to uh, print, publish John MacArthur's book uh, that he's, uh, he wants to put out, The War on Children. According to Jury Royce, the publishers have refused to put out this book because uh, John MacArthur has, not, has been abusing children at Grace Community Church. This is according to Jury Royce, okay? So my question I always ask Jury Royce, where is the police report? Okay, because if John MacArthur is out there at Grace Community Church and abusing children, we want John MacArthur to be reported to the authorities immediately so he can face his day in court. He can face his day in court, but there is nothing. 55 years of faithful ministry still going on while Jury Royce is out here writing articles upon articles upon articles. So let's entertain Jury Royce today, okay? So this is the article that Jury Royce uh, has put out. All right, so The War on Children, uh, this is the book that Pastor MacArthur has, put out, has written. I don't think it's, it's not yet out. They're, you know, looking to publish it, okay? Uh, the War on Children uh, by Pastor MacArthur. All right, so let's uh, uh, at this article, okay? Let's take a look at the article that uh, Lady Jury has put out. <laughs> Right, so here is the article, okay? And I quote, following allegations, <laughs> let me just even start, so that way you can see at the top, right? Uh, the Royce Report, okay? Book publishers refused John MacArthur's war on children following child abuse controversy. Following, following allegations, following allegations, John MacArthur failed to protect victims of child abuse. Publishers have declined to publish MacArthur's new book, The War on Children. An employee at Grace to You confirmed with the Roy's report. <laughs> According to a still available post on Google Books, The War on Children, providing refuge for children in a hostile world, was said to be published in 2022, 2022 by Thomas Nelson. However, MacArthur's broadcast, uh, however, MacArthur's broadcast ministry, GTY, announced last week that the book would be published by the new MacArthur Publishing Group. In April 2022, pay attention to this. In April 2022, uh, the Royce Report received a tip that Thomas Nelson had cancelled its release of the war on children. So, the Royce Report emailed Nelson about the planned release of the book, but did not receive a response. We have sent additional emails since then, but have still not heard back from the company. The tip came about a month after the Royce Report published an exclusive story revealing that MacArthur had publicly excommunicated a former member, Erin Gray, for refusing to take back her child abuse husband, David Gray. All right. I already did a video about uh, this story, Irene Gray and David Gray. They used to be members at Grace Community Church 20 years ago. So now this would be like 22 years ago. And Irene Gray was put out, uh, out of church via church discipline. Unbeknownst to Jury Royce, okay, uh, good churches do practice church discipline. Most people don't know what church discipline is. But yes, churches are supposed to be conducting church discipline. If you are a member, you're subject to that. So Julius does not know about this issue. Not only that, the situation with, uh, with Irene Gray, they went to court 
Okay, the court found uh, David Gray guilty and he's serving his sentence in California prison. But jury always decides to put all this blame on John MacArthur. So if John MacArthur is to blame, where is the, pos where is the police report? He, li he lives in California. Governor Newsom does not like John MacArthur. If they, he'll be so happy to put John MacArthur behind the bars. But we continue. You guys can watch those videos because uh, let's continue to listen to this issue, okay? Because that's Julie Royce. That's how she goes about it. And we continue. A follow-up story by the Royce Report revealed that even after David Gray was convicted in 2005 for sexually molest molesting his children, MacArthur and Grace Community Church continued to shine Ellen and support David. Okay. A church has an obligation to support its members not people who are not members. If people are getting help from the church, they can get that help, but you, they are not obligated to. Julie always does not know about that, okay? And uh, David Gray does ministry, in prison ministry. Grace Community Church, they are involved in prison ministry. So there's nothing wrong supporting a prison ministry. There's quite a number of churches that support prison ministry. So Julie always does not support prison ministry. Too bad, but we continue. Okay, so David Gray started a ministry while in prison called Chains for Christ Ministry. In 2012, ministry newsletter obtained by uh, the Royce Report, MacArthur praised David Gray for his steadfast faithfulness in the midst of such a difficult trial and called Gray our missionary to Cochrane State Prison. Okay, so what? If he's doing ministry, he's in prison. He's saving his sentence. Shouldn't we be happy that at least somebody is saving a sentence and is still holding on to the name of Jesus? Hmm? He's not beyond redemption. But we continue. Today, Gray is serving 21 years to life for aggravated child molestation, corporal injury to a child, and child abuse. In April 2022, but mind you, the story we are reading is that the Christian publisher has refused to print John MacArthur's book. And according to the publisher, they never commented on this issue. They never said anything to Roy's report. So Roy wants us to believe that as the, the reason why they are not printing uh, John MacArthur's book, it's because uh, Irene Gray was put out of church. Trust and believe that she's not the only person who has been put out, out of church because of church discipline uh, at Grace Community Church. But this is where Joe Royce wants to park. In April 2022, the Royce Report also published an exclusive story about Paul Gray, a former pastor at Grace Community Church, according an eyewitness, Gay confessed to MacArthur in 1979 that he had molested his daughter, Wendy Gay. In response, MacArthur wrote a letter obtained by the Royce Report urging Wendy Gay to forgive her father and telling her father that her father will remain a faithful part of our staff. Okay, why don't you guys go to the police and just go and report John MacArthur for all these cover-ups? I continue. Decades later, Wendy Gay wrote to MacArthur pleading with him to help her expose her father who was still pastoring as a serial pedophile. MacArthur refused and replied their name. I'm not sure why all this has become an obsession for you after so many years, allegedly. MacArthur has not responded to repeated requests for comments by the Royce Report. <laughs> why would he report? You already have all the information. To me, I'm like, Royce, you already have this information. Why don't you just take this information to the police and let the police handle it? Hello? If you have all this evidence... Why don't you take this to the police and report this issue about, uh, about his handling of the Paul Gray or David Gray cases? Today, the Royce Report spoke with an employee at Grace to You who said that because of the book's strong stance on controversial issues, a lot of publishers didn't want to work with us. So, according to, here is the reason right here. According, because the book has got a strong stance to controversial issues, a lot of publishers don't want to work with uh, Pastor MacArthur on this book. That is why they haven't uh, published the book. It's not that somebody was put out of church, uh, church discipline was exercised. It's not because Grace Community Church support prison ministry. It's none of those things. But Royce would like you to believe that is the reason why, but it's not. It is not. And I continue. The war on children counters the unimaginably destructive culture that calls good, evil, and evil good. Uh, Grace to you, Web, Web says, it adds that in the book, MacArthur helps leaders see clearly the issues at hand so you can defend, protect, and joyfully raise your children 
in the nature and admonition of the Lord. The grace to you employee gave only her first name, Morgan. When the Royce Report asked for her last name, she declined to give it out and asked the Royce Report to email Grace to you, which we did. As of time of publication, no one from Grace to you has responded. According to Morgan, The War on Children is the first book to be published by the MacArthur Publishing Group. So, uh, I don't, Royce, okay. The publishers don't want to publish the book because of the strong stance that the book has taken. That is the reason why. Instead of Royce telling you that is the reason why they did not publish the book, she, she went on with the other stories and then added in the true story at the end of it. When you read that article, when you read the, 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 the title, what are you going to think? You're just going to walk out like, oh, wow. People have refused to print out uh, MacArthur uh, uh, book on children because John MacArthur disciplined a baby at his church because John MacArthur's church supports a children's uh, support prison ministry. So, and this woman pretends to be a Christian. And mind you, by the way, she already wrote her book herself. Okay? That she is the one who ended up abusing, uh, I think her name was, was it Lucy or Lucy? When she put out her book, A Soul of a Woman, A Feminine Soul. This is Royce herself. Who, she wrote this herself in a book as a matter of public record. She was having uh, an appropriate, uh, you know, uh, emotional relationship with a young girl while she was married, while she was um, uh, a youth pastor. But she's out here, and these are the true things that she has written about herself, right? So who is out here? How come Royce is not turning herself into the authorities for abusing um, that young lady while she was already married, while she was a youth pastor, while the young lady was a teenager? Hmm? You see what I'm saying? But she's out here busy talking about other people's issues, and then she also has her own issues. Be that as it may, if all the things that she's saying are true about Grace Community Church, I urge Royce, please, report this to the police. If you do love these, these children, if you care about these women, please report it to the authorities so justice can be done for these women, for these children, for all these people who have been hurting. Until then, sorry, young lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's uh, take a look at the video. Uh, I don't at least, you know, you know I want to give it to her that, you know, as she did end up uh, putting out the true information at the end over here, okay? So there's a little bit of true over here, right? Like, okay, she did put out of there. You know, today, the, the Roy's report spoke with an employee who said that because of the book, Strong Stand on Controversial Issues, a lot of publishers don't want to work with them, okay? And not only that, right? Royce already told us at the top that she contacted the, uh, the publisher and the publisher, re they did not respond to Royce. They never told her as to why they did not, uh, or as to why they didn't want to publish John MacArthur's book. So how does Royce know that the publisher did not want to publish the book uh, because they, there were issues at Grace Community Church. Hmm? Does that make sense to you guys? Hmm? I, I do not understand. Like, you know, man, Royce, man, she, <laughs> she just has to find a way to implicate John MacArthur for one reason or the other. Okay, it actually told uh, over here, it says, like, you know, uh, in April, they received the tip, tells, uh, Thomas Nelson had cancelled its release. They canceled this book on their own for whatever the reason. Huh? And then Roy's report emailed the plan release of the book but did not receive any response. So there was never a communication between uh, Thomas and Nelson as to any reason why they refused to publish this book. So Roy's cannot be putting something in the words of Thomas Nelson's mouth as they did not re uh, print the book because there were issues at Grace Community Church. That's not what happened. And she has just told herself as much. But the way she has concocted this, um, this article, 
would have you to believe that the article was not published because uh, there were uh, these allegations from Grace Community Church. Okay? So, mm, slander. So let's watch uh, the trailer for this video, okay? I think the thing that distresses me most is the war on children. Last year, my 11-year-old daughter was in elementary school, and her elementary school transitioned her from female to male behind my back. This culture is weaponized to destroy children. Who wants to be a drag queen when they grow up? <laughs> I think our culture uh, wants to turn the whole world upside down and the way to do that is to go for the children. A controversial children's book teaching graphic acts complete with illustrations making the rounds in school libraries. If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? Every human being matters and our culture fails to see that human beings are the crown of creation. Rebecca put a teacher's creed into words when she said, there's no such thing as someone else's child. Our nation's children are all our children. The war that rages is real, but it's not beyond the power of Christ. So that's the trailer that they put out to go with the book, The War on Children written by uh, Pastor John MacArthur. I think, yeah, Pastor MacArthur is writing books, he's, you know, getting his household in order. You know, he's going to be uh, 84 come June, 55 years of faithful ministry. So, you know, keep praying for him, keep praying for the ministry. They're doing uh, good work around the globe, literally around the globe. There's so many people who are benefiting uh, from the ministry of Pastor John MacArthur. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.